Okay, as you can see here, I finish airbrushing um, the primer on all these parts, as you can see here, using Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 uh, Gray. Good primer. You do definitely have to um, thin it down. Preferably, I use Mr. Color Leveling Thinner 400. And uh, make sure your PSI is a little high. If you do it too, a little too low, it'll probably spit out a little bit um, inconsistent. So make sure your pressure is well done, uh, you know, set properly on your uh, on your uh, compressor. But it's already primed, and now I'm going to begin uh, painting the next the next layer. Hold on, I'm putting on my uh, my mask here. Let me put this to the side. I'm going to begin painting the inner frame parts first using Gunmetal ALC 120. I've always enjoyed using this type of uh, gunmetal. It's uh, a different type of tone. I could have used metallic gray if I wanted to. Or maybe regular gray. Some people think that maybe I should, I'm using metallic gray or gunmetal as a uh, inner frame uh, color way too often. But to tell you the truth, I, I really enjoy it. I really do. It's uh, it's my preferred use. I, I I would not mind using a different type of gray color. Something to look forward to in calendar year 2017. So, got my airbrush ready, and let's see, work on something a little big here, so we can all see this together. I don't know how much is being covered by the um, gunmetal with the extra parts that goes over it, but I'm going to make sure I cover everything here. Better be safe than sorry. I see some parts here that represent the hydraulics, like here on the side. doesn't show, it shows like a little spacing there, so I don't know if this actually will be shown. If it does, maybe I can try, probably try to detail that up a bit. Alright, so here's actually one of the parts from the inside of the thrusters of the, um, of the, of the booster. What I'm going to only do is going to paint the inside of this. And then the sides here. Ooh, I'm already out of, uh, metal. You know what? I think the pressure is a little too high on this. Let me adjust it a bit. There we go. I did use a lot on that uh, on that torso. Let's work on this one.
this is in specific areas that I just need to paint. There are other areas that I don't need to paint. It doesn't have to be completely painted. Just enough to to show off the detail. Actually, you know, I forgot I had one of these. Put that there. Here's that other one that I just mentioned. Let me just finish it up. There we go. That should be fun. One of the rail cannons. And I'm going to try to do some light passes here. joint of the leg. That's good. And the leg here. I don't have, I'm not doing the entire leg because it's going to be covered up by the armor. I'm just only going to do the areas which I know is affected. And I'll have to go back to the manual. Okay, I have to do this little area here. Yeah, that covers the whole thing. All right. All right, so let me continue with the remaining parts. And then once I'm done with the inner frame and all the other gunmetal gray parts, we'll move on to the next part of the kit. Okay, now that the inner frame is already uh, painted, I'm going to now start working on the armored parts, and that is, of course, the white parts. I'm going to start using Mr. Gun, Mr. Color, Gundam Color, uh, MS White, and I'm going to see if hopefully I can show something here because, as you can see, here's the primed part, and maybe if I turn off a light, it'll show that this is a gray color. Yeah, that light's a little too strong. Let me see if I turn this one off and then turn this one on. It's almost the same thing. I just want to at least show you guys that, you know, I painted this gray. And, and now... hard to see. I mean, one is off-white, the other one is not. This one's more, you could tell this is a little grayer. Maybe yeah. Let me just paint both of them at the same time. Because I am doing one light pass here.
and off-white is, I mean, MS White is technically um, the off-white color. So, let's, that completes these two parts right there. Now, as I'm progressing, some parts I, I had to assemble and hold up in specific areas where I can actually paint completely. Like you see here, I have a, um, the sticky tack in there holding both of these. So I wanted to grab them all in one shot. I'm using this uh, blackboard as a backdrop to see more clearly here. Uh, state some things here. I did say I'm going to do two-tone color and for like this um, after this is dry I'm going to mask that part off so this part can be painted uh, the gray color. Going back to this part here I'm going to well technically I was going to use the little ball here that actually holds the beam savers. I'm going to paint that gray and leave the rest alone. So that's fine. Uh, but this part here, which is actually part of the show, uh, part of the forearm, um, I'm gonna probably leave this part white and this part like by the knee, by the elbow gray. So I'll probably do that. I was looking at the crest here uh, that goes on the head, and most likely I probably paint this part and this little part here gray, while the rest would be left over. Uh, white. Um, what would be another one that I can show as a perfect example? Okay, like this one, like the the actual waist armor. This is the back waist armor, by the way. So, like something like this. I was originally going to mask this off, so maybe paint that up. The problem is that there is no seam line here or here. Not seam line, excuse me, panel line. Um, I could have easily um, taken maybe a, a scribing and scribed it in. Just did not know how to do that with this because it's so weird. If it was straight like that, maybe I could have figured it out, but it's in an unusual angle. Somebody's going to tell me that there's a... The, uh, that model scratch building uh, book has some great ideas on how to do this in specific angles but I'm not I'm not ready for that but I think what I can do is I'll mask the whole thing off and just this part which is the thruster I'll paint that gray so that will be a good idea um, what's another one here well some parts like this one okay this is going to be left alone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is gonna be regular white. So that's fine. But for the calf leg of, right, like this one right here, this one goes in the back, this will be gray. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna put that to the side here. That parts is going to be grayed out. Here's a part that's going to be white, which is the the, the front uh, part of the leg. Actually, no. Hold on a second. If I remember correctly, I was going to do white, gray, white. Ah, oh, you know what? This is white. So I'll leave that. Uh, no. Darn it! I forgot how I did this. I had this all in, planned out in my head, and I can't remember. Ah, uh, shit! Where did I put the ma the uh, manual? Put it to the side when I was cleaning up everything around here. All right, never mind. 
it doesn't matter because I'll paint it again. I'll repaint it, you know, one more time just so it doesn't hurt that, you know, to do that. Oh, no. I remember now. I'm sorry. This is white. That's right. Now I remember. This is white. But the trim here that goes around here from the front, that's going to be painted uh, the gray. So, I'm okay with that. Um, I don't know about this one, but... See, I had it all planned out in my head, and I didn't, like, did a, um, I didn't get one of the line arts of the, of this kit. Maybe I could have done a pre, you know, preliminary work right there of how I'm going to plan this out, how I'm going to ma map this. The shoulders is very white, so that's, that's understandable. But that's what I'm going to do right now. So, let me continue on with parts that need to be, um, painted white, the parts that does not need to be painted white. And then we'll move on and figure, and you know, move on to the next stage. So give me a moment. 